Hello everyone. So now we are moving on to the next thing. That is, I am going to say how we can add a question. So primarily, we are going to conduct a quiz like thing through this form. So for that, we have to move on to the settings. And in the settings, you can enable the option collect email addresses. So that your students email addresses will be collected. And then this thing, it requires sign in limit to one response. Which means that your student cannot submit more than one time. So we are limiting it to one response. So that is the things. And then actually we can provide option for the respondents to edit after submit or see summary charts and all. So normally for creating quiz for the students, we should not provide these options. So then we are not enabling those things. And then we have to move to the quizzes. So to make this as a quiz, we have to enable this make this make this a quiz option. So then you can immediately release the grade after the submission or else you can do it after a manual review. Here I am providing immediately after each submission because here actually we are having only MCQ type of questions. If you are having some short answers or paragraph like questions, then you can choose the next option. So now here actually the respondent that is the student can see the missed questions and then they can find the correct answers. They can even find the point values. So these things I am enabling. If you want you can enable or else you can disable. So these are all the settings for the quiz. So I am now saving it. So now that my question is changed as a type of quiz. So here actually because of enabling the email address. This has been enabled as email. So the next one is the question. So now I am giving C was developed by. So this is my first question. So I am giving C was developed by. So now we can provide the answers. So I am giving Bala Guru Sami. And my next option is Dennis Ritchie. And my next option is Blaise Pascal. So these options I am giving. So after giving these options, I have to provide the right answer key. You see here, I am clicking on to this and I am giving it as Dennis Ritchie. So this is the correct answer. So I am marking on to it and I am uh, giving the points assigned for it. So and then done. So now what happens, it would record this Dennis Ritchie as the correct answer. If students marks it wrong, it would won't provide the mark. So likewise, it would act accordingly. So next, my question is, select the uh, next question. Select, let me give the next question here. Select the valid variable names. So this is my next question. So here instead of giving multiple choice, I am giving here the check boxes. Here th there could be only one answer for this first question. So I have made use of the multiple choice. Here there could be more than one answers also. So because of that, I am making use of the check box option. So I am giving it as total. So total 1. So, and the, my next and next, next possible option is 1 total. Then I am giving it as total underscore sales. Next option is total, total ampersand sales. So, these many things I am giving. So, after then I have to make the correct answer. So, for giving the correct answer, so the correct answers are total 1 and total underscore sales. So, and I am giving 2 points for this and then I can give done. Okay. 
So here let me make these questions as required which means that if I uh, don't give answer for this question then it won't be uh, allowing the student to submit. So that I am giving, I am enabling the required for both the questions. So now actually the students is support to, uh, supposed to answer two questions. So now I am uh, saving it and then by default it will be saved. We, we, we are in no need of saving it. So I am giving it as send. Okay. So to send I am choosing a email id. So here I am having Dr. SNDC yes and then I am sending the May, uh, form to that particular person. In this way I can send the form to the particular person. Okay. Thank you.